Welcome back, everyone, to the stream. And it's time for some Planet Stronghold. And I know it's going to be difficult to get over Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. I feel just exhausted going through that, even though I barely touched the controller. But we'll make it through. We'll figure out a way to get through it together. And we'll do it with Planet Stronghold. And no, I still don't know who these people are on the screen. I, they don't actually show up in the game. Okay. So that was the last save. And what were we doing last time? Let's see. We... Yes, the Voss. We took care of them. The Matrix. Okay, yes, we destroyed their holy sites. That's right. Caused them to surrender out of raw despair. The Matrix. We enslaved their minds. I believe we took care of, of the Dreddens. Let's talk to Damien. Let's see uh let's see what he's doing, you know? Is anything new? Uh no. He has nothing new to say. Okay. So I'm guessing that the only thing we have left to do is take on the Marauder headquarters. Oh, maybe uh well maybe the Android actually has something for us. Actually, before we do the Marauder, let's see. If Lucille has anything for us, and maybe we should talk to our uh, to our teammates before we do anything else. Let's talk to Lucille. Ah, she is news. Okay, so I guess she's uh, perhaps opened up a new area: the Arnox and the Apex Ron, I believe. Okay, there is an endless battle between them. Okay, they've been at war in the entire history of Planet Stronghold. That's impressive, to keep a war on going that long. Okay, an Arnox warchief has been captured. I know it's difficult to focus on Planet Stronghold after what we just saw. We're going to try. We can go to the Apex Ron territory, where the Arnox warchief is held prisoner. Now they live in a pack like dogs. All right. So basically, our our latest mission in committing uh, wartime atrocities is we're going to sneak into the base of the Apex Ron, put a bomb in there, and kill pretty much all of them. So basically, it's going much the same way as it had been before. Okay, so it looks like the main purpose is that we want to kill the War Chief, because without that, the Arnox just cannot maintain their structure. Lucille's happy about that, aren't we all? Ah... Divine Intervention, a foolproof way of choosing the next leader. <laughs> we'll take advantage of their religion to kill them. Alright, let's walk around, see what people are doing. See what Rumi's doing. Yep, Rumi's made more life givers. We gave what we had to Damien to get a weapon, I guess, that we couldn't use, probably. So, it's good to have more. Hey, what's Lucille doing here? Oh, okay. What's Rumi? Oh, no, okay, she's not here either. I wanted to talk to Rumi, but uh, she's not available, I guess. But let's talk to Jacob. Mr. Science. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, I'm just all uh, I'm just all flustered after plumbers don't wear Oh. That was our chance to talk with him. I'm sorry, I just I'm not thinking straight right now. I just can't concentrate. Okay, let's talk to Philip. Philip once again coming on to us, though it's hard to say if he's joking. 
Yep, Philip, that's the only thing Philip does with his time. Just drinking all the time. Uh, let's, uh, what do you think we should respond with here? Should we take a drink with him only if he tells us the truth? I don't know what, what truth. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Or say, sure, why not? It looks like most of you are saying that we should, uh, ask him to tell us the truth. I'm not really sure what truth is referring to. I guess we'll find out, because that's what you voted for. Yeah, he doesn't know what she's talking about either. Hmm? She qu Lisa Nelson questioning Philip's credentials as a bounty hunter. Lisa Nelson apparently thinking that bounty hunters cannot be good people. Lisa Nelson has some, has some preconceived notions of the profession, I think. Oh, look at that. Our relationship with Phil went up. He seems touched. I'm a dangerous guy. That's what I am. Oh. Hidden secrets of Philip Koenig. He was actually a treasure hunter, not a bounty hunter. Oh, Lisa, interested. Her ears are perking up at the mention of treasure. So Phil knows where we can get some treasure. However, apparently it is dangerous to go. We'll have to click for our lives. All right, I guess this is actually a uh, a big deal for Phil. He's saying that we need to come back when we're ready. We're not ready right now. See if Kimberly... Uh, Kimberly... Stop calling her Kimberly. It's Rebecca. Rebecca Fox. Rebecca Fox. <laughs> Rebecca Fox is hot-blooded. She can't change who she is for you. All right. Do we want to inquire as to why Rebecca Fox acts that acts that way? Or do we want to scold her, tell her it's dangerous to be that way in battle? Or do we want to be a friend or do we, do we want to be a commanding officer? It looks like most of you are saying friend. Let's try to get to know Rebecca a little bit better instead of just ordering her around. Especially considering we just got here. We're still a raw rookie. <laughs> well, aren't we all trying to imp impress Tom? That just goes without saying. I think everything we've done has been to impress Tom Shatz. What? Rebecca Fox not into Tom Shatz? I question that. Oh, but our relationship with Rebecca went up. I can't believe it. I think we're all trying to impress the Red Thunder with everything we do. But looks like Rebecca's saying that there's someone else that she's trying to impress. And that's it for her. Let's go to the private quarters. I don't think... Yeah, we never find anything interesting here, I don't think. Tom is usually in the hangar. Yep. Tom likes to hang out in the hangar bay. Don't know why here. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's quiet. Maybe he's left alone with his thoughts and his hands in his pockets in the hangar bay. Well, I don't even have to take a vote here. We're going to ask Tom if we can ask him a personal question. Maybe we've gotten far enough along with Tom Shatz to ask him this. But I don't think we're insinuating anything. Well, no, no, let's let's not let's not say that. Let's keep our hopes up, right? <laughs> All right. So this is I'm not really sure about Lisa's uh, response here, but one for I can't allow such a thing in my team, and two, are you going to answer my question? I don't know what what, uh, what what Lisa Nelson is trying to do here. 
were being overly confrontational with Tom Schatz. I don't think I approve of this, but we don't have any other choices. It looks like the chat's saying that we're going to say, are you going to answer my question? Let's go. Oh, Tom looks, he, he does, he's, he seems a little awkward here. Oh, so maybe at one time, Tom and Rebecca were together. Lisa confirming that there's nothing between you two. Because, of course, we have our own eyes on Tom Schatz now, don't we? Maybe... <laughs> Tom Schatz, shocked at our reaction. Have we seen that reaction before? I'm not sure. I don't remember that. <laughs> Tom Schatz's eyes, bigger than ever. Yep, he can see a lot with eyes that big. Oh, our relationship went up with Tom Schatz. Our relationship meter with Tom Schatz still unacceptably low. It is much lower than a lot of the other characters. I, I don't approve of this either. Am I really relieved that they're not together anymore? It can't be. The game saying what we're all thinking. Uh, the landing pad, I believe. Yep, Bellamy's here. Maybe he's making more grenades. Let's talk to him first, because I talked to Ru I asked Rumi for Life Giver, and then I couldn't talk to her after that, so... Let's see what Bellamy's thinking about. Oh, Bellamy, crying? We gotta talk to him, right? See what's going on in that mind. Oh... Something deep down. Something personal. Something Bellamy can't tell anyone about. Except us. But he doesn't want to waste our time. Oh, Lisa, breaking formalities. Saying that, she, that he, can, he can call us Lisa, even though we are his superior officer. Bellamy can't talk with his family. <laughs> so we can go one of two ways here. Number one is Lisa being very formal and telling him to stop thinking about that. That's going to affect your performance on the battlefield. Number two, Lisa sympathizing with Bellamy. Saying that we're really sorry about about this problem, that he can't talk with his family, that he's stuck on this war-torn planet with jammed communications, and his family has no way of knowing if he is even alive. That's rough. It looks like most of you are saying that we need to sympathize. I'm sure we'll find a solution. And our, yeah... Our relationship went up with Bellamy DuPont. He, he's happy to know that someone else is concerned about this situation. Well, I have to go. <laughs> okay, so who else? There is the lounge where I believe Michelle usually hangs out. Yep. What are we doing back in our, uh, our gear? We were in our formal clothes before. Michelle is. I thought we were all just relaxing. I noticed you were cleaning your gun. Oh, the people and aliens I've killed with this gun. The war crimes I've committed. Did she tell us that? I don't remember. Oh, we're listening to a lot of sad stories today, Michelle. Maybe, Lisa, maybe that's not the tone to take. Oh, Michelle seems to think that we're joking. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not exactly how I thought that was going to go. It turned out Marcus was an awful person, and we stole his, and she stole his gun. Alright, so yeah, that's yeah, that kinda makes that uh that relationship sound completely different. Well, wasn't wouldn't she have been issued a military grade gun when she came in? 
I wouldn't think she would need to have brought her own gun. If it is, the military on Planet Stronghold is very strapped for cash, I guess. One or two. Do we think she made the right decision? Or I'm not really sure if you made the right decision. Okay, it looks like you're saying number one. Yeah, Michelle did what she needed to do. She made the right decision. I don't know if Marcus is on Planet Stronghold. It doesn't sound like it. I'm guessing this is before she came to the planet. Yeah, really. I mean, what else can you do? And our relationship went up with Michelle. Yeah, I mean, I guess it probably would have been rude to tell Michelle that we think that she was completely in the wrong and she should just go ahead and return that gun back to Marcus. That would have been a bad thing to say. Actually, we don't know her that well. We haven't been using her in our party very much. What had you become? What were you before? Oh, okay, he is on the planet, and he joined the Rebels. So it's quite possible that we've killed him already. That, that could be. We would not know if we did, because everyone's wearing helmets. <laughs> yeah, we realized we weren't compatible anymore. When I joined the army and he joined the rebels. It was a problem that got between us. We tried talking it out, but it just didn't work. Yeah, that would be kind of awkward to maintain that relationship, I think. Okay. The barracks? Uh, oh, the royal chamber. Let's see if we can talk with King Oscar about anything else. Oh, all of the alien races have submitted... Mm-hmm. We did that. <laughs> yeah, we destroyed their religion. We sure did do that. And the ma yeah, we enslaved an entire race. That's to our credit. Ah, the Arnox, yes. So let's get back to our task. Okay. So, let's see. There's the Arnox. There's the Apex Ron. Okay. I think we're going to go to the Apex Ron. It did suggest we do that first. Um, to take them out and take where, because they have the war chief of the Arnox. So I guess that's what we're doing first. Uh, let's see. Yep, we already have a party. All right, let's go around. See what we've, oh, a place of interest already. Did we never destroy the thing blocking our signal and messing up robots? I don't remember if we did that. <laughs> I don't remember. Hold on a second. Here's our active quests. No, there it is. There's the source, the mysterious signal that's making all the robots go crazy and attack humans. We never did find it, and we never did destroy the amplifiers. So I guess we... I, I don't know. I guess we can't do that yet, right? So we can kill Queen Shyler. We can go and uh, go fight her whenever we're ready. We can submit the Arnox race by killing the possible candidates for War Chief. We can destroy the Apex Ron, uh, sneak into their lair and place an ion bomb. The treasure map, oh yes, Phil's treasure map. That's right, we can go back to that, I guess, whenever we want, since there's no time limit. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's give it a save. All right, here's a place of interest. Let's check it out. Oh, we found it already? That was quick. <laughs> sort of a mantis-looking thing. I like how the expression on Lisa Nelson never changes. She She's always just kind of halfway amused at everything that's happening. Tom Schatz contemplating what we should do next. Jacob Miles with a suggestion. Uh, I mean, placing a bomb sounds like something we'd like to do.
Okay. So. We either, well, leave. Let's say leave is not an option. Why would we leave, right? So let's say sneak in is... Okay, you're voting already. Okay. So, all right, if you're voting already, let's say that, yeah, sneak in is two, enter is three. Let's say that. So sneak in with a, group, a small group of two people, that I assumed would be the popular one because that does involve us, uh, us putting a bomb, planting a bomb to kill lots of people and aliens because, of course... That's what we do. That's what this whole team is about. Blowing up aliens. Why wouldn't we do this? Mmm. Someone with high sneak skill or someone with a high explosive skill. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Change current party. All right. So this means we would either be uh, going in with Phil with the high sneak or we would be going in with Bellamy who has the high explosives they suggested either sneak or explosives so I wonder which one we should go with no it said that this is only two people right two people besides us let's check Let's try that and see what it says. Yep. Has to be only two members. Lisa is required. All right. Okay. So let's say number one is Bellamy, number two is Phil. Since Bell Bellamy's on the left, Phil is on the right. Okay, looks like everyone's saying Phil. That's who we want to go with. Alright, Phil it is. It's Lisa and Phil. Sneaking in. Let's see how this goes. This could either be really good or really bad. Of course no one's noticed us. You see Phil's sneak level? It's huge. And I think we know someone who can sneak. Mr. 100% over here. That's right. Okay, looks like they were putting the bomb down. Let's see what happens. Hmm, science are explosives. I wonder if either one of these have that. Let's check. Nah, that's pretty low. Okay, it looks like that the highest chance we have here is Lisa Nelson using science at 35%. So this could be a problem. It could be. So I'm just going to go with the highest number that we have. Oh, great. I guess, even... I mean, we were very lucky there. That probably should not have worked. <laughs> Good job. We blew up an entire tribe. They never even saw it happen. <laughs> we're all real happy about that. <laughs> I need to tell the king. I snuck into their home and planted a bomb and killed them all. Every everyone's happy about that. <laughs> I feel so good that we that we were able to kill so many people, so many aliens. Let's upgrade our kill points. Okay, Bellamy, continue to pump up those explosives. Tom Schatz, we were putting that into armor, I believe. And Rebecca Fox. We were pumping up survival. I know it's probably not the best idea to keep putting points into one one aspect. But I kind of like doing it. Bellamy, do you have something to say? I'm sorry, I shouldn't call aliens people. We know that aliens are below human beings. The glorious empire of man. 
Oh, that's right. Maybe there's something valuable. But we blew it up. Along with the aliens. Oh. Rumi doesn't like that. <laughs> she realizes that maybe, maybe what we did was kind of monstrous. A little bit. But Tom likes it. He likes it a lot. I think we made the right decision. We'll never know. We just murdered everyone indiscriminately. <laughs> so that happened. Um, I guess I should save. Just because that went as well as it possibly could have, I suppose. I guess we don't need to stay here. Let's just go around, see if there's anything. Whoop. Yeah, we sure have gotten to move on with our murdering, our wartime atrocities. Oh, right. Fix the party. That's true. I probably should do that. Put Tom Schatz and Rebecca Fox back in there. Thanks for that. I actually forgot about it, as I will tend to do. I wonder if all of these, uh, if these aliens are aware that their home has been destroyed. Maybe they aren't even aware of what happened, but they'll find out. Oh yes, they will find out. Let's explore the explanation point, explanation points, exclamation points. Explore them. The marks on the map, exploring them is what we're doing. Hmm, robot pieces, you say. Oh yeah, we've seen this before. This is where those brain robots were. Oh no! Oh, Bellamy will be disappointed since explosives are out of the question. Yep, robo-brains. It's them again. They're always in this place. These places. You shouldn't have tried me. Pitiful. You shouldn't have tried me. You're pitiful. Everyone's always trying Rebecca Fox. When are they going to learn that they shouldn't have tried her? Ah, oh, skill points. Charisma all the way up. We're going to need that for when Lisa inevitably becomes the new empress of the Empire. I mean, that's kind of how that has to happen, right? Let's see. Oh, I think someone has a very good chance of this. Another group of robo brains. Very threatening. You shouldn't have tried. I don't think we found any items as of yet. So hopefully we find something and there was actually a reason for going in here. Nothing to it. That was almost sad. Oh, Phil went up a level. And, if, oh, Sneak is maxed out. We have maxed out Sneak. We can't increase it anymore. Philip Koenig is the sneakiest man to ever live. He has, he has reached the maximum potential of human sneakiness. It cannot go any higher. So if that's the case, we probably should look into another skill, like maybe the combat skills, right? Yeah, Up what, upgrade snipers. We probably, yeah, it looks like people are saying that we probably want to do snipers. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Start pumping points into that. So hopefully now Phil will be able to use more advanced rifles. I got this. Lockpicking science? No problem. Look at that. 100%. Bam. There we go. Uh, 
All right. Things are going well. We have annihilated um, that cave full of full of aliens. They didn't even see us coming. They never even knew who we were or that we were there. They died just the same, as all aliens will. They will all fall for the glory of man. But it looks like that's another half hour up. So... We'll just take another little break for a few minutes. When we come back, it'll be more Planet Stronghold and more alien murdering, and I'm sure further atrocities to come. Be right back. <laughs> 